Hello, Ramley and other NFL family. Are you looking for a prediction video from a guy who is ranked 29th in his own Pick'em League and who had, I think I, I think I was like one off 50% last week. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I went like seven and eight or something like that. I did not do very well last week. So hopefully this week, I can do better. But speaking of people that are doing well, let's uh, come on up here. You can see some of the names of our competitors here in the Pick'em League. But up top, I got to highlight Fizzy and KCool0742. They are tied for first place with 63 uh, wins here. And wow, that's uh, that that's fantastic. We got a couple of people that are still, you know, in striking distance here uh, to to try and catch them. The season is still young. You still got to remember to make your picks, and you got to try and remember to get them right too. That helps, I hear. But let's see if I can do better this week here. So, boom! Let's get into it right here, right now. We're picking every game. Timestamps below. Thanks everyone for watching. Let's go. Jacksonville Jaguars and New Orleans Saints. You know what? This is a Thursday night matchup game that that screams a trap game for the Jags. I see 79% of people are picking them. The Saints, though, at home with that defense, if like, and they're coming off of a ugly performance. Ah. <sighs> A part of me wants to pick the Jags, but my gut is telling me go Saints. But I've been wrong a lot. So maybe I should go Jag. I'm going to go Saints. I'm going Saints. I'm going Saints. I just think them at home, I I, I like them to upset the Jags at home uh, with that defense. The Raiders and Bears. Oh, this could be an ugly game. You know what? Oh, Jimmy G likely missing some time, but it's the Bears. You know what? I I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Bears to upset. Oh wait, I don't know if Justin Fields is playing. Oh, I have to, but I'm making the video now. I have to make a pick. Okay, I'm going Raiders. I'm going Raiders, and I have a feeling it will be the Bears if Justin Fields plays. But I'm going Raiders. The Browns and Colts. So sad about Anthony Richardson uh, out for the year and Gardner Minshew, especially because I think the Colts are surprising people being three and three. The Browns coming off their huge win versus the Niners with PJ Walker at quarterback. And I'm going to say in this one, I think, I think the Browns keep that momentum. And I, I think the Browns get this win over the Colts here. The Buffalo Bills and New England Patriots. I see 98% of people picking the Bills. I am one of those people. Uh, I, I believe the Patriots are not a good team. And I think that the Bills will uh, will, will do, do, do some damage on that field. The Commanders and the Giants. Oh, but this is a tough one. The Giants defense kept them in that game on Sunday night. I'm glad this game is not on Sunday night. Let me just say this. It's a divisional matchup. I'm going to give the edge to the Commanders here. I think the Commanders are a team that's getting better uh, as the season goes on, and I just think that Giants team is too inconsistent, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Give, give me the Commanders. The Falcons and Buccaneers. Ooh, this is... Interesting, huh? I'm going to go see the Falcons lost, Buccaneers lost. I'm I'm going Falcons on this one. I I think this Falcons team. I know a lot of people, you know, hate on Desmond Ritter, and he has played horrible at times, but he's has had some good moments too. And I'm not convinced that Taylor Heineke doesn't come in. And improve that Falcons team. I I do think the Falcons beat the the Buccaneers here, but this 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 could be a really fun game actually. The Lions and Ravens. Lions are scary good, which is still crazy to think about. I feel like every NFL fan is like, oh yeah, the Lions are good now. 
<laughs> Let's get used to that. Um, Ravens banged up team, but Lamar can do stuff. It's in Baltimore. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the Ravens to take on Lions here. I, I think it'll be a field goal victory. I think the they'll keep it close. And I I think Ravens, if it was in Detroit, I'd probably give the edge to the Lions, but I think the Ravens take on the Lions here and get the dub. Oh, game of the week. Steelers coming into SoFi to take on the Los Angeles Rams, who are coming off of a monster win versus the Cardinals. I'm obviously going to go with the Rams. Yes, uh, I always pick the Rams because I'm a homer, and that's okay. <laughs> that's <laughs> uh, But no, legit though, I do think the Rams are the better team than the Steelers. I think the Steelers' defense could keep them close in this game, but I'm hoping that Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, and company can overcome some injuries at the running back position and get the dub. The Cardinals and Seahawks. I, I do think the Cardinals will play them scrappy, but I just think the Seahawks are the better team, and they're going to get the, the win over the Cardinals here. The Packers and Broncos. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going Packers here. Um, Packers coming off the of bye week. Broncos coming off being a really bad team. Uh, going to go with the Packers. Chargers and Chiefs. Hmm. Yeah. Mm, yeah. You know what? It's in KC. I do think the challenge, the chargers have the talent to take on the, the chiefs, but I just think right now the chiefs are rolling. Chiefs are rolling and they're finding ways to win. It's not always pretty, but I, I think Casey's got this game here. I don't, I don't see this being the game that KC drops. The Dolphins and Eagles. This could be a really fun game. I'm looking forward to this game. Two five and one teams. Sunday night football. This is this is what we want at NFL schedule, people. Yes, this this is the game we want on primetime football. Ah, this is a tough one. I lean. I there's an argument for either team. Really, I'm I'm gonna go Dolphins here. Um, I, I, it's in Philly. Maybe I should go Philly. No, I'm sticking with my, my first inclination, even though I've been often been wrong. I, I think the dolphins just, they'll have what it takes to be an edge. I think this is going to be a really fun game though. Really fun game. The Niners and Vikings, uh, the Niners coming off their first loss of the year. I, I don't know what to say about the Vikings. I have literally been wrong about every single Vikings game this year. They're the one team. I Tennessee, I got one right. But Vikings, I have never once predicted their game correctly. I, I'm going to – you know what? I, like, I'd like the Vikings to beat the Niners as a Rams fan. So, I guess I'm picking the Niners to win versus the Vikings because either way – if the Vikings win, okay, I'm wrong, but sweet, the Niners lost. But if I'm right, then I finally picked the Vikings game right. So that's my logic here. But I also think the Niners coming off of a, a, a loss in you know rainy conditions and injury plagues, uh, I, I think the Niners will, will get things done here. And the Vikings without Justin Jefferson, I feel like we'll have a really hard time keeping their offense on the field. Uh, tiebreaker, I think it's going to be a lower scoring game. We'll go. We'll go. Four. Why not? Yep. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. That does it for me. I appreciate y'all. And uh, yeah, let me know your picks in the comments below. And, uh, you, know, I, you know, I encourage you to, you know, enjoy watching football. I hope you're having a great week. Sorry, this video is out a little bit later than normal. Just work. I was traveling, so it's hard to get it done. But as always, go Rams. Horns up and peace out. Let's go Rams. Woohoo!